Plenty to do at the Great Stoneboro Fair. Tonight, the Wheels of Agriculture game show is being played. Chris Higby is performing on stage. Behind the scenes, I found a vital cog in the history and hoping people embrace it for the future. Don Jones is no stranger to the Great Stoneboro Fair. The fair started in 1868 and has been around for 153 years. Don's first fair was in 1961, making this his 61st year being on the fairgrounds. Well, I grew up in my grandpa's barn milking cows when I was 12 years old. I've seen a lot of cows milk. Jones won his share of ribbons over the years. The fair now has 130 cows, about 30 of them produce milk. The Dwight Pringle milking parlor was added in 1990, and that milk goes over to the Dairy Princess booth, where it's the main ingredient for their ice cream. Jones is amazed at the number of people who show up at night and have never seen a cow milked. They don't know where milk comes from. They think chocolate milk comes from brown cows. Well, that's not how that happens. He's concerned about the mega dairies across the country, which can produce milk cheaper than can be done by local dairies. He's hoping we don't have to give in to them. I, I tell people I'm scared to death someday I'll have to go to the cupboard and get the cereal bowl out and go over to the refrigerator and get a can of Coke out and dump it in my cereal because I won't be able to buy any milk to put on it. While Jones is concerned about the future of farming, he's also concerned about the fair's future, that more volunteers are needed, especially younger ones, to keep the traditions going. He was named a friend of the fair last night. Hey, it took my breath away last night. I was, I was just dumbfounded. I knew nothing about it. You know, I know a lot of the older guys that got this award over the years. And I think, I'm not in the same class as them guys. I, didn't, I just. Now, Don loves how the fair supports the Lions Club, the churches, even the fire department. By the way, the Jackson Center United Methodist Church told me this might be its last year at the fair due to a lack of volunteers. Try their apple dumplings, trust me.